everybody, welcome back to the other more YouTube channel. It's Chris back with episode nine. This is of the See You Next Tuesday series. And as it is episode nine, I thought it was only best that we put a striker into episode nine of the horrors from Newcastle United's past. Now, I say this through gritted teeth because this guy wasn't really a horror. He was absolutely brilliant, but he broke my heart and many people's hearts as well. And they always say, never fall in love with a lone player. And no truer word was ever spoken than the next inductee into the See You Next Tuesday list. You might surprise some of you. It is this fella. I am talking about Loic Remy. Now, way before Alexander Rizak was doing wonders and bits in the number 14 shirt, scoring goals for Newcastle United, we were blessed to have this French beast in the squad. Now, it was a funny one with Remy because... I don't think we were linked prior. I think he was supposed to go to Stoke and then failed another medical. And I'm starting to think that the Stoke medicals were like the fucking Crippen Factor or something, or the Gladiators. He had to knock Shadow off with, a, with one of them Pugil sticks because Bar seemed to fail his and sign for us, and then Remy seemed to fail his uh, and then end up with others on loan. Obviously, he went to QPR first. QPR got relegated. So QPR in the championship. So they loaned Lowick Remy out to Newcastle United. We had a really successful loan spell in the 2013-14 season. Now, Remy appeared 26 times for us and he got 14 goals. So, hell of a strike rate. Uh, I think his first three games, I think he scored five goals. Uh, he was absolutely phenomenal. Lightning quick, skill, and just looked composed as fuck. You know? I mean, I remember some great goals. I think a brace against Chelsea, I think. I remember a goal against, uh, was it was it Cardiff or Swansea, where he just took it so brilliantly. We loved them at Newcastle United. We loved them. Uh, we treat him like a hero. You know, he fed off that crowd. He, he looked every inch the proper striker. You know, we were throwing the Henri comparisons at him and everything else that Isaac's getting now. You know, and, and obviously we were hoping against hope that the lower Grammy might stay with us next season, when even when QPR were promoted. Because let's be honest with you, Newcastle United, when it's rocking like it was with, with Remy scoring goals, we all kind of thought, oh, hang on a minute, this, this lad might have fell in love with us as much as we've fell in love with him. Eh, eh, sorry. Just to remind you what modern day footballer cares about more than anything, money. Not all of them, but most of them. And this motherfucker was no different. All he cared about was the money. He didn't even go back to QPR when they got promoted. No, this wanker went to Chelsea. Uh, he was meant to go to Liverpool by all accounts. And then he failed another medical. I think it, it was something to do with a heart defect or something. This this kind of cropped up in, in, in a previous medical that I think Remy had. But I think Liverpool had agreed uh, an 8 million quid uh, fee from I think I'm just looking through the, the details here to refresh my memory. Uh, yeah, just look there. So Liverpool triggered an 8.5 million release clause in his contract, which which I'm sure Newcastle and I were hoping to do. Uh, and if I was Remy, I'd have come to Newcastle as well because, you know, why not be a hero, have that on your CV, look at those fans. When you're scoring goals in front of those fans, you ask Callum Wilson and Isaac that now. Yes, I know we're in a different place now than we were then. If we were where we were now, Remy probably would have ran to Newcastle and I, never mind, um, never mind, you know, knocking us back and saying thanks, but no thanks. Um so, yeah, it, it was a strange one. So, he was supposed to go to Liverpool. They pulled out. Then he ended up going to Chelsea. Um, and now, to be fair, his, his record at Chelsea was, was, was quite decent. But he never really got a sniff at Chelsea. You know, he was, he was kind of a bit part player. Um, he was kind of in the squad. He was out of the squad. Um, as you would be a big club like that, the, the, that's chasing Premier League titles. I'm just looking at his, uh, his stats there. So, yeah, so he, he had... Um, in total, he was there for two seasons... And he had 47 appearances and 12 goals. So he didn't quite hit the heights that he hit when he was at Newcastle United. And I think he made a bad move in his career, to be fair, Remy. And I'd love to, to, to speak to him one time and figure out or ask him whether he regrets that decision. You know, a lot of his French compatriots were at Newcastle and they were doing really well there. Um, he had a great vibe there. He was banging in goals. The crowd loved them. You know, he was catching out a French manager and everything else as well. And then he went and chased the money, you know. So, uh, yeah, he deserves his place, in my opinion, on the See You Next Tuesday list because he broke my heart and he broke everyone else's heart as well in the crowd. Let us know in the comments below what you think about Loic Remy being on the list. Do you agree or disagree? Um, just remember, he's on the list for that particular reason that he, that he spat in the face of Newcastle United and buggered off and chased the money. Uh, but let us know where you think I'm being a bit harsh there, whether Loic Remy shouldn't be on the list or not. Great player when he was here, no doubt about that, but broke our hearts, as as I rightly say. But uh, yeah, let us know as well if you want to add anybody else into the see you next Tuesday list. Do you have any suggestions? Uh, we have got a couple more coming up, which I'm sure would be more than worth their place in the see you next Tuesday list. If this is the kind of thing that you guys like. 
please consider subscribing. Click that button. Come and join us. We're over 3,500 3, now, so Mark's got more homework to do on his graphics. He's getting a regular thing, this. So thank you so much, everybody, clicking that button. If you like the video as well, it really helps get it around YouTube, helps the channel grow. Until then, let's keep supporting that team. We'll call United. We'll be back with another horror trip down memory lane with the next see you next Tuesday next week. See you later, guys. Take care.